ESPN's 10-part documentary about Michael Jordan and the 1990s Chicago Bulls has brought back tremendous memories for sports fans around the world. The documentary is filled with interesting stories about Jordan and his teammates, but believe it or not, some great stories actually missed the cut. 13 on your side's Mike Lissette uncovered one of those stories and it involves a Grand Rapids man who says he was given the opportunity of a lifetime that he'll never forget. It all started with a phone call. It was a Saturday morning. I was living in Milwaukee. Right away, it's Matt. This is Jerry Krause. Grand Rapids native Matt Stegengo wondered why the infamous general manager of the Bulls was calling him. He remembered he'd recently asked the team for tickets to an upcoming game, but that wasn't the reason for Krause's call. He goes, how about instead of coming to the game on Tuesday, you play in it? The former Michigan State star could not believe it. Having been drafted by the Bulls in 1992, he had all but given up on his NBA dreams after being cut by the team in the fall of 1996. Now, just a few months later, not only was he going to play in the NBA, he was going to play with Michael Jordan and the world champs. It was a huge shock. I mean, I jumped out of bed and you know, was running around the apartment excited. There wasn't too much time to celebrate. Stegna quickly joined the team for a mid-April game in Detroit the next day. He played a total of four minutes, scoring a point. A lot of people from Grand Rapids came over to watch me play that day, so it was pretty cool. Stegna thought it couldn't get any better. He was a fine player for Judd Heathcote at Michigan State. But oh, did it ever the following night in Chicago. When I checked in, I walked right over to Steve. Well, he called me over. He goes, every time you touch the ball, shoot it. <laughs> With apologies to the future coach Kerr, Stegna didn't listen. But when he did shoot, he made a count. You know, the, the dunk I had, I mean, the place you know, literally exploded. Uh, it, was, it was really a neat moment for me. While it was the final NBA regular season game Stegengo would ever play in, it was not the end of his time with the Bulls. He stayed on as a member of the practice squad for the rest of the year, and despite playing in only two games that season, he still took home a championship ring as the Bulls won their fifth title of the 90s. Michael said to me, you know, well, you know, you deserve to be part of the team during the playoffs. Uh, that, that, to me, justifies, you know, getting a ring. A ring? That came from an unexpected ring. And now, he's a part of basketball history. Michael said, 13 on your side sports.